Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today following the conclusion of Apple's Spring Forward Media event, we're going to be taking a look at iOS 8.2, seeing what's new, kind of evaluating, and just reviewing the firmware overall. All right, and getting started, I wanted to mention free apps fast. Be sure to navigate to the website to quickly and easily earn paid apps and gift cards. And with that said, let's go ahead and get started and talk about iOS 8.2. This iPhone 5C was updated following Apple's event. So again, going inside of settings general about, you will notice that for the version, it does confirm this iPhone 5C is running iOS 8.2. You can see down there at the bottom, this is the public build as well. Now, if you guys want a written overview of all of the changes in iOS 8.2, there will be a post down below in the more info on best tech info. I'm actually going over it right now on my iPad Air 2. So let's go ahead and get into this and get started. All right, so starting off, let's talk about the latest edition that iPhone 5 and up users will get. That does include the 5C, which I have here, the 5S, the iPhone 6, and the iPhone 6 Plus. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we get. But let's go ahead and back up a little bit and go to this first tab. As you can see, it just says, good evening. If you have an Apple Watch, you can pair it with your iPhone here. It gives you some nice pictures there with some awesome transitions. And then you have a button that says start pairing. And then from there, it will bring up the camera. So as you can see here, we now have the viewfinder and it's telling us right here to hold Apple Watch up to the camera camera and align it with the viewfinder below. So I have a Pebble Steel smartwatch right here. It's not quite the same as an Apple Watch, but it will kind of give you a representation of how it would look. So you would, in theory, get some sort of a code on the Apple Watch that you have to read with the iPhone with the Apple Watch app. So. As you can see here, you would simply align it with the viewfinder and then from there it should pair it. Currently though, we are unclear if the Apple Watch will feature some sort of QR type code or something else entirely. And down below at the bottom, you have the option to pair it manually. So you can actually tap that and it brings up this screen. It simply says, tap the eye on your Apple Watch to view its name, then tap the corresponding name in the list below and it will scan. Presumably it connects via Bluetooth at first. The Apple Watch will actually connect over Wi-Fi as well so you can leave your iPhone anywhere in your house when you're home on your home Wi-Fi network and it will still function that's the absolute great thing about having Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity with the iPhone itself so next up we have the second tab here which is just explore and it gives you some videos that Apple has of course this is probably just a web view that they can update and change at any time remotely so they won't have to issue a new version of iOS anytime they want to change this explore tab so we we could see additional things added here in the future. And the same thing goes for the App Store. This will definitely change once the Apple Watch is released. And as you saw when I first opened this app, at the top it simply says Apple Watch, pre-order April 10th. And down below at the bottom it says experience the App Store built just for Apple Watch, coming soon. So the Apple Watch will be released on the 24th. Again, pre-orders start on April 10th. And now let's go ahead and move on to all of the other changes, which are kind of trivial because iOS 8.2 is mostly introduced to add Apple Watch integration. So up first, we have the Health app. This is probably one of the more substantial things aside from the Apple Watch app. So because I am recording this live, I'm not going to go over everything, or at least I'm not going to show it on the iPhone, but I am going to read it. So it does add the ability to select the unit of measurement for body temperature, weight, height, distance, and blood glucose. As you can see down here at the bottom inside of the weight portion, we can now select our unit of measurement. Whereas on a pre iOS 8.2 iPhone, as you can see down below at the bottom, we have no such option. We don't even have the ability to select a unit there. Next up inside of the health app, it does improve stability when dealing with large amounts of data. It includes the ability to add and visualize workout sessions from third party apps. It addresses an issue that prevented users from adding a photo in medical ID. It fixes units for vitamins and minerals. It fixes an issue that prevents certain tabs inside of the health app from being updated when there is older data inside of it. So for instance, inside of the fitness tab on something like the iPhone 6 or the iPhone 6 Plus, it does have a hard time updating. As you can see, I just opened the app here and I went to my dashboard and it still isn't updated properly and it would take some time previously, again, before iOS 8.2 is issued to actually update that data inside of health. It fixes an issue where some graphics show no data value 
values, and it adds a privacy setting that enables turning off tracking steps, distance, and flights of stairs climbed, and that is inside of the settings app. So let's go ahead and navigate to it quickly. So inside of settings, we can go to the privacy tab, and then from there you can go to health, and you have your new options there, or you should have them anyway, based on your device as well as its capabilities. So let's go ahead and close out here and now move on. We also have a number of stability enhancements, including increases the stability of mail, flyover inside of maps. Let's go ahead and quickly open up maps and test this out on the older iPhone 5C here. I have Paris and we have the 3D tour. It's starting now inside of flyover and it should be pretty good. We will see though. I'm not going to run through the entire thing, but overall it looks really nice and smooth guys. This is a great improvement, especially considering that again, this is an older iPhone with an older CPU. It looks absolutely great inside of maps here. Of course though, depending on the area, it might not look as good. It also improves the stability of music, voiceover reliability, and connectivity with made for iPhone hearing aids. There are quite a few bug fixes as well. Of course, you can find all of them down below in the more info on the post that I have linked to there. The most prominent though is a bug that caused calendar events to show in the incorrect time zone being GMT. And that pretty much wraps it up. Like I said, iOS 8.2 is mostly geared to add Apple Watch support. And you might be wondering, well, I'm on iOS 8.1.3 or earlier, should I update, especially if I intend to jailbreak? Now that's kind of a tricky question and it definitely depends on your situation. If you're jailbroken currently on iOS 8.1.2 or earlier, or even iOS 8.2 beta one or two, since those two beta firmwares are definitely jailbreakable, then I would advise against updating. However, if you're on iOS 8.1.3 anyway, there's really no harm in it as the next jailbreak utility will include support for iOS 8.2 when it's released. It will definitely be issued. It's just a matter of time and who issues it is kind of up in the air. If you guys want additional information on jailbreaking, I definitely recommend checking out my other video from earlier today that goes in depth on the topic. I will have a link on the screen now via an annotation form. Just be sure to check that out if you're interested at all in jailbreaking. But like I said, it does depend on you and your situation. If you own an iPhone and you're interested in purchasing an Apple Watch, then you may want to consider the jump from whichever version of iOS 8 you're on to iOS 8.2. All right, now that definitely wraps up this in-depth review of iOS 8.2. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, just be sure to read it up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section, especially for my upcoming iPhone 6 giveaway. And if you guys want to be updated more often, such as when I release videos similar to this one or covering jailbreaking, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. Of course, click that subscribe button down below next to my channel name if you have yet to. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.